So this is how the steam plant uh, is shipped. And the first thing you want to do is take the oil water separator and hook this up. What you'll need is it's not going to work. You want to use two wrenches and uh, tighten up the union nut on the fitting. Not too tight, just snug. Next thing you want to do is take the uh, smokestack, insert it into the boiler, and tighten up the uh, exhaust line. Again, you want to use two 5 16 wrenches. Just gently snug it up. Come with a gas valve for a standard uh, Coleman or uh, butane propane tank. Just go ahead and thread this onto the tank. Again, just tighten it up snug. Don't use pliers. The burner will already be inserted into the boiler. And you'll get a gas line uh, coil of uh, two. The next thing you want to do is attach the gas line to the burner jet holder. And attach it to your gas valve. It's important that you use, again, two 5 16 wrenches on here. You don't want to use one wrench and tighten this. You'll wind up breaking the fitting off of the gas jet holder. Again, just gently snug it up, not too tight. Do the same thing on the gas valve. I recommend that you run the gas and check for leaks. Don't is using distilled water. Let's get a small funnel and insert the funnel in the uh, boiler. The way I like doing it is you can get a, a generic syringe. Fill it with water. What you're looking for, <clears throat> you're watching the, the water on the sight glass here, and you want the, where you want to fill it up to is right about here. You want to leave some space in the top of the boiler. You can see the water level starting to raise. place the cap. Again, you just want to make this hand tight. Your steam plant's also going to come with a couple uh, blunt ended syringes. We use one syringe for uh, drawing out any water condensate in the oil separator or the uh, oil lubricators also in the uh, oil tank here. You can, at the end of the run, you can take off this plug and draw the uh, muck out of the <coughs> tank. There. What we're going to do now is put oil in the uh, displacement lubricators for the engine. Your steam plant comes with a bottle of steam oil. Steam plant. What you want to do is you want to fill these displacement lubricators up to about like, almost the top, a little bit below the top.
some small holes in, uh, on the crankshaft here, on the eccentric arms, connecting rods, oil the little pins in here. Uh, there's some oiling cups on the back. steam plant for the reversing mechanism. Fill these up with oil. Fully open the gas valve. Might have to cut this. Yeah, go ahead. What you're listening for is the flame traveling down the flue and igniting at the burner. You do not want the flame burning in the stack. It will destroy the paint. You don't have to open this valve all the way. You just want to open it enough to get a good steady burn. Pressure reaches 40 PSI. You can go ahead and slowly open the main steam stop valve. Give it a few turns. The next thing that you're going to do is this is your throttle valve. You're going to want to slowly open your throttle valve. slowly start the engine. What's going to happen is the engine is cold and the steam entering the engine is going to condense past the water. You may have to give it a couple turns by hand to pump the water out. Normally this would be hooked up to a servo in your bow. This engine's designed so that you do not have to stop the engine completely. 